Uh, this is Fishing with Joe, and today you're in uh, Hattie's kitchen, and I'm going to show you how to fry fish. And first, what I'm going to do is to make up the coating for the fish. And I have some flour here, cornmeal, and, and the spices that I'm going to need to mix in it. So what I'm going to get is, this is uh, a half a cup of flour, two half a cups of flour. And I'm going to use, this is a half a cup of cornmeal, and, I have, and I'm going to use another half, so that's one cup of flour and one cup of cornmeal. Mix it up with my fingers. Good thing to use, a good thing to have is fingers. Now after I have mixed that, I'm going to put in, well I'm just going to tell you what, you, use your judgment on the paprika. I'm going to, uh, just to how much you may want in it. But I'm just going to sprinkle it in and you can kind of see here just how much I'm using because it helps give it a nice brown uh, texture to it. And, uh, and I'm just going to use, um, and I'm putting pepper in it, and it's your preference as to what, how much pepper you may want to use. But when it comes to the onion powder, I'm going to use two, two teaspoons, two teaspoons of onion powder. Ooh, ooh, already got about a half of one in there, but two teaspoons of onion powder and two teaspoons of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of garlic powder and two teaspoons of salt. There we are. Get that out of the way. And I'm going to use my fingers again and just mix it up. Get it mixed real good so you can get all of those spices through there real good. Now, and yeah, I think it's ready. It's ready to be used. And that, that's more than enough to coat two pounds of fish to fry. You're going to have some left over. And what I always do with it is I put it in a plastic bag and I put it in the refrigerator and save it for the next fish fry, which will be Produced very soon, I know it'll be very soon because my son Joseph, he is a fisherman. I have my fish that's already been cleaned by my son John, and um, and they're been rinsed and drained, and so now I'm going to put them into the coating mix and coat them real good. A few pieces of them, and. Um, I'll get a few pieces coated here with the coating and then I'm going to go over and turn the far up under my skillet for the grease to get uh, hotter and then I'm going to drop these in that I've coated and I turn, I'm going to turn my heat up high to get my um, um, oil in my skillet real hot. I use canola oil, pure canola oil and so I've got my um, oil in my skillet heating up and so as soon as I've got it just right, then I'm going to drop my fish in there. Now I have got my fish all coated with the, uh, the coating on it, and I'm going over to the stove now, and my skillet with the hot oil in it is hot now, and so I'm going to drop my fish down into the hot oil. You got to have it real hot because you don't want it to lay in the oil too long frying. It should brown fast in this hot grease. Uh, that's enough in here. I got hot fingers. Now I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to coat some more fish to be ready for the next batch that goes in when that's ready to come out. And it'll be all ready. Got to, we'll have the coating on it just to drop it right on in. Because I just don't like to linger too long between dropping them in the skillet in the hot oil. All right. Got to wash this off of my fingers. Need to give a quick wash and a quick dry. 
And now I'll go down in here and get me a pan and get it ready to put my fish in. And I always like to take um, about three white paper towels and lay them down in my pan to help absorb some of the oil when I take my fish out of the skillet. So I'll get my prongs, which makes it so easy to lift them out and to turn them too. Okay, there. there we are. They're in there just frying away. They sure do look good too. They look good. I think I'll, I'll turn it. I'm going to turn them. Oh, that one kind of caught up there. There we go. There we go. These are some nice fillets. Nice fillets. There, I turned it over. There we go. Now, let it brown on that side. All right. I think they are just ready to come out, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to take the fish out because they're they're uh, nice and brown. And they're coming out. There we are. They're coming out. Okay. That's it. Now I'm going to put another batch of fish in. These into the skillet. Aren't those nice? Now the second batch always, see for some reason, seems to fry better than the first batch. There we go. There we are. This is the second batch of fish that I put in frying, and, and I'm going to turn these because they're ready to be turned. And they look, they're real nice. And I know they're going to taste delicious. Yeah, look at those. And they look good enough to eat, don't they? Good enough to eat. Eddie Jordan's fried fish. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. Turn them over, let them get a little browner, and they'll be ready to take out. And I have some more over here. I'm going to go over, and I'm going to get these ready. And I'm going to fry one more batch of them. And I think that'll be enough for dinner. This will be plenty for dinner. I wish you guys was here to help us eat it. Sorry you not. Sorry you not. We'll just have to invite you all over for a fish dinner sometimes. I'm fishing with Joe. Fishing with Joe. Uh, I'm, about to, yeah, I'm just going to coat all of them and get them all fried up. There you go. Come on over sometimes. Bite you over to a fish fry. And I know I'm going to go over here and wash my hands now and get some of this coating off of my finger so I can get over here and, and get this fish out of the skillet. Because I know it's ready now. Oh yes, it's ready. It's ready. That fish is ready. Yes, it's ready. 
some nice brown pieces. It's ready. Okay. In goes another batch. I'm gonna put it right on down in here. One more batch. One more batch of fish. There we go. There we are. They're in there. All right, I think this uh, this batch is ready to turn right now, and I'm going to turn it over so it can get brown on the other side. Yeah, those are looking good. That's good. That's real good. Brown it on this on the other side. There we go. I've turned it over. There we are. Now let them brown. And that then, just as soon as they brown, which won't take but a few um, a minutes, and then I'll put it over into the pan, and then they'll be all ready for us to have us a, a fish dinner. All right, now I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm going to take out the last batch of fish that I'm frying for today. They're ready to come out. Oh, they look so good. Oh, we're going to have such a good time eating these fish. Fish dinner. Aren't those nice? Look at that. Look at that. Mm, there you go. I got you. All right. Turn the burner off. And I'm going to set that over there. Off of that hot bar burner. Don't want it to cook no more. And I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to uh, um, uh, get my fish onto my platter for the guys to come in and have some good fish to eat. Oh, don't those look good? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that fresh caught fish. Freshly caught. Oh, don't those look good? Fish all. Thank you and thank you for watching the show. And I hope you enjoyed the recipe. And this is Fishing with Joe. Bye now. Today's episode of Fishing with Joe has been brought to you in part by BigFishTackle.com, the largest fishing community online. Check out FishingWithJoe.com for articles, videos, photos, forums, and more. Joe's site is designed by Jards Enterprises and powered by EasyWeb. Check out EasyWeb for yourself. Professional, it's affordable, changes anytime you want. Call toll free 1 877 My Easy Web or sign on to 1 877 My Easy Web.com. Thanks for watching Fishing with Joe, and I hope to see you again next time.